In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new mobile B20. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. Huge shout out to New Mobile for actually sending this phone out today. So this is a phone that just launched today. This is going to be the New Mobile B20. This is going to be a 5G phone and uh, this is retail $219.99. So if you guys do want to end up purchasing this at the end of the video, I have a link in the description down below. And if you click on that, they actually do have some pretty crazy bundle deals. They have heavy discounts on the cases as well as heavy discounts on their wireless earbuds. Uh, if you guys do want to do a bundle deal with this. So they have some pretty good deals on this. First and foremost though, we have our specifications right here. So as far as our screen size, it's going to be 6.5 inches. It's going to be full HD 2400 by 1080p. That's a good sign. 2.2 gigahertz octa-core CPU. We're going to have a rear camera setup of three cameras, our main being 48 plus 16 plus 2. And we're going to have a front facing camera of 8 megapixels. Uh, we're going to go further into detail once we get inside of the phone, but that's what we have for the camera so far. As far as the RAM, we have a whole 8 gigabytes of RAM inside this phone. So we have a ton of RAM in here, 128 gigabytes of internal storage. 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, and the B20 does come with a data cable and power adapter, screen protector, and a quick start guide. So that's something that we don't really see on budget phones nowadays. Um, it seems like they're taking the their charger out of the case now, so it's really nice that we have that in here, and it also comes with the screen protector, so that's really, really cool. All right, people, so we're gonna go ahead and take the top off right here. I actually did take a look at this phone already, so it's not going to be like a huge surprise to me, but this is what the phone looks like. It's kind of a chunky boy, so it's gonna be a little bit more thicker than most phones, to be quite honest. Um, the build is gonna be plastic, screen's gonna be glass, so it's not gonna be the most premium as far as materials goes phone, but it still looks pretty good, honestly. We got a little shiny back we have the new mobile logo very very minimalistic right there and we have our camera setup which i think looks pretty unique compared to most of the camera setups we see in the game right here i'll put this to the side and we're going to take a look at everything else we'll get back to that in a second now obviously we have our charger inside of the box as well and we also have our usb type c data cable and of course, we have our SIM ejector tool. And getting inside of here, we are actually gonna have some stickers. We're going to have our start guide for our B25G. And of course, some amazing stuff in here. We actually have a green protector. So that's actually really, really nice that we have that on here. Cool, so we have all of that inside of here. We have some candy, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we have some salt inside of here. Don't let your kids near this obviously, but that is all we get inside the box. All right guys, so right side of the phone is going to be our power button as well as our fingerprint sensor. And this actually is a pretty accurate fingerprint sensor, to be quite honest. It's really, really decent, super accurate, pretty quick as well. So you guys are gonna have a good time with this. I know there was a lot of devices this year that I had a really, really bad experience with. Um, the TCL Stylus 5G, the fingerprint sensor on the right side was total trash. I hated that fingerprint sensor, but this one has a very accurate one. Now just above that, we have the volume up and down rocker. Top of the phone, we have a noise canceling mic. Left side of the phone, we actually have our SIM tray right here. Bottom of the phone, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so thank you for giving that to us, New Mobile. We also have our noise canceling mic, USB type C port, and of course, our speaker at the bottom of the phone. And we're gonna test all of this out in a second. This also comes with NFC inside of this phone, so that's great to see. Um, and of course, we put the dark theme on right here, and we have a few other things down here. Looks like we have our native screenshot right there. Uh, we have our bedtime mode, extra dim, our invert colors, hotspot, screencast as well. So we have a screencast that is actually native. So that's nice to see. We have our basic stuff inside of here. Great that we have NFC as well. So we can use Google Pay on this. So it's going to be nice to use that tap and pay um, at the cash register or wherever else it is accepted. Uh, that is going to be the future as far as phones and you know electronic payments go. It's going to be on your phone, so I feel like NFC is definitely a must on these devices. As far as the display goes, though, I wasn't thinking this was going to be a crazy display, but this display looks really good. No angle on this phone is bad. No angle at all. And of course, this is my favorite wallpaper that new mobile has. You guys can actually go ahead and change the wallpaper through here. But this is my favorite one. I don't know if this is like a vortex or a record. 
I'm not 100% sure, but it looks good. Um, we also have our 16 megapixel front facing camera right here. This is going to be a hole punch notch and it's not going to be using that teardrop notch that a lot of the other phones use and I think just looks bad. So good on you, new mobile for keeping up with the times and putting a hole punch notch on here. I think it looks really, really good actually. Uh, and this display gets really bright as well. So this is a very, very nice looking display. Also, as far as bloatware goes, we're not going to have any bloatware. We have new mobile help and that's pretty much it. You guys can even see that we have right here, we have our messages right there by Google. Now getting into our camera right here, it looks like this is going to be a mostly plain Jane camera, but we have our beauty mode on here. We have our video mode on here that's actually gonna go up to 1080p 60 frames per second, so you guys can turn that on. Great to see that right there. And of course we have our portrait mode on here. Great that we have that on here. Let's go ahead and click that. And we have HDR. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick photo real quick with our portrait mode. Pretty quick shutter speed. And we seem to be getting some pretty clear results for $219, I think it looks pretty good so far. Of course, we're going to go further into detail later on, but this is looking, this is looking decent so far. Looking decent. Awesome, so that is what we have on our camera. Um, also, pretty much stock Android, as I said before. Really quick with that eight gigabytes of RAM on here. As far as our storage on here, only 14 gigabytes of your storage is gonna be used of the 128 that you get on here. So we have 114 free, which is nice to see. So there's not too many things on here. Um, but this is looking like a nice phone so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and check out the speakers on this and we're gonna go and check out a 4K test on this just to see how the display looks and then we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna do some more videos on this, but so far this is looking pretty promising. And of course, this is going to have 5G access as well, band 66 as well and band 71 as well. We also get up to a downscaled 1440 60 frames per second and this is how the display is going to look. So display is looking really good. Uh, the colors are popping. We have some really, really contrast colors on here. Um, really liking what I'm seeing. Everything is super clear. Everything looks good. There's no bad angles on the display. Uh, so for $219, you can't really ask for more than this. As far as the speaker goes on here, this is what it's going to sound like. So this does only have one speaker and it is at the bottom. I think it's pretty adequate. I don't think it's the loudest um, and I don't think it's, you know, the clearest speaker, but it definitely gets the job done and I think it's adequate for the price tag. Um, but for $219, this is looking like a nice little phone. Eight gigabytes of RAM. We have NFC inside of here. We have a pretty decent fingerprint sensor, very accurate. Uh, we also have face unlock on here as well, which is one of the other security options you guys can use. Um, and of course we have 5G on this device. So with everything that comes inside the box, I think this is a pretty nice deal right here. Uh, we're gonna go into full detail later on on the camera and everything else in the full review in a couple of other videos, but is this a phone that you guys are interested in? But let me know what you guys think about this. Again, if you wanna go ahead and purchase this, I will leave a link in the description down below. And they actually have tons of different deals as far as the bundles goes. So I think like the cases are like $6 instead of 20 if you get it with the phone and the earbuds are like $19 instead of like 50 or something like that. So they have some really, really good deals on their website. Check them out. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know down below as well. But hopefully you guys have a great day. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.